what do you have up your ass? Don't have a book up my ass. Do you even realize how epic this weekend is going to be? There's like six parties and I'm taking a lecture called sex. You have to go. I don't know. I'm on break. I don't really feel like going to class. What do you want to do? I don't know. Samantha Brown. Do you see that fork up ahead? Yeah. Well, one way leads to my school, the other leads somewhere else. Which way do you want to turn? Hold on, I'll look at the map. Maps are for granddads, left or right. I don't know. You don't choose, we're gonna hit that house, left or right. <laughs> left! Very slow, Brown. So where are we going? I have Yeah, like, your kindergarten career goals were any better? 
I wanted to be a veterinarian. At least I had financial stability in mind. <laughs> Even if you'd asked me two years ago, the answer still would have been different. My original plan was to major in special education. I was considering becoming a sign language interpreter. And here we are, theater majors. <laughs> <laughs> Plans change, people change. It's a side effect of aging, I guess. So here's what really happens. You graduate high school and everything changes. People start to treat you differently. You can vote, you can buy lottery tickets. You don't have to ask to use the bathroom anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you get ready to leave. The first change is always the hardest. You get ready to move away to Massachusetts or South Carolina or wherever the hell you end up. And you have no idea what's waiting for you when you get there. You just know that you've lived in the same little place for the last 19 years of your life and you need to find out who you are beyond the city limits. And you're scared shitless. But you know that if you don't do it now, you never will. Let me run through a field in the night Let me lift from the ground till my soul is in flight Let me sway like the shade of a dream Let me swirl like a cloud in a storm on the sea
mattress? Do you stay at home and get a stable desk job? Do you find some kind of medium? It's scary. There's so much pressure coming from all directions that it feels like you're being pushed down and down and down until you're in this hole of stress that you've dug for yourself and you can't get out. And yes, your friends and family can help you, but at the end of the day, you're the one who has to get yourself out of that hole. You have to decide whether or not you want to leave your safe little bubble and make it on your own. So you leave. You pack your bags, go off to college, alone for the first time, and you pretend to be an adult. From the ages of 18 to 25, you're really a fake adult. You have all of the responsibility, but none of the know-how. You're responsible for your own gas, food, money, everything. You're on your own, and suddenly you find out that you have a roommate, because you're a broke college student and can't afford your own swanky apartment. But they aren't always who you want them to be. There's been some confusion over rooming here at Shiz. Of course, I'll pay for Nessa. But of course, I'll rise above it. For I know that's how you'd want me to respond. Yes. There's been some confusion, for you see, my roommate is unusually and exceedingly peculiar and altogether quite impossible.
Hello. 
gotten your best friend's approval and your, the honeymoon phase has ended. Now what? Now you're in a real deal adult relationship. You start coexisting. You move in together, go to family functions together, get a dog, the whole nine yards. But you also start bickering. You test each other. You see each other at your worst. They find out just how bad your morning breath really is. <laughs> they find out about your sleep talking habit. You find out that they snore loudly. <laughs> they find out that you don't always clean your dishes up right away, but really, what's so bad about that? You learn that compromise is key, and you can't win every battle. You must choose them wisely. <laughs>
ability to tear two people apart, but it's up to you to decide whether or not it's worth fighting for, or it's better just to let them go. <coughs> What's the perfect balance between yelling too much and not yelling enough so that people don't walk over you? Is it a crime just to want to be nice? To avoid confrontation? Thank you. 
sure. It could mean that you don't depend on your parents solely anymore. Or that you stop asking your parents for money. No, I still do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it means that you've learned that it's okay to fail. Because when you fail is when you learn who you really are. It's when you accept that you need to live your life to its fullest potential. You need to love and live and grow. Because this is the life you've got, so you might as well make the most of it.
see uh, give a, a promotion to next weekend. If you enjoyed what you saw, you'd like to come to SUNY Elster and see what we're doing. Next weekend, we are debuting our second production, first in ever SUNY Elster theater history, Tom Payne Based on Nothing. Under an hour, start to 7.30, next Friday and Saturday. Uh, it is free, open to the public, and of course, free for students. $10 suggested donation, please. Uh, next weekend, thank you. Hope to see you